Hello, my name is Choki. I'm from Dare Foundation Jakarta. So here's the problem. Right now, the population of the defaulted people in Indonesia reached into enormous amount. 10% of the, the population in developing country are the defaulted people according to the World Health Organization. So it means 25 million of people in Indonesia are having different ability. So the different ability people who live in Indonesia, most of them are live below the poverty line because of lack opportunity to get the proper job, discrimination by the society, and less support by the government and the private sector. Living in the poor condition, bad infrastructure, and far distance of the workshop, with all the complexity, make disabled people cannot get the proper prosthesis and the orthosis. The best solution is a mobile workshop to reach the disabled people in the rural and the village area. The problem of mobile workshop that their foundation had right now, it is too expensive to set up the mobile workshop due to the need of a microbus and many big machinery. I've been working on this design now for more than half a year. Of course, I started in the Netherlands with doing some research and I found uh, several things I combined and it proved to be really suitable for this project. So Choki asked me, could you please help uh, create something for this mobile workshop? And this is exactly what, what he needs. So this is the, the socket we are making. Uh, this, this, the stump goes in here and we need a plastic standard part to connect the rest of the leg to. But we don't have so much components. So now Pontas has just destroyed an old, an old uh, failed socket, so we can use it again. So for this, for this new experiment for Bapak uh, Mamurun, Mamurun, we can use that component again and make a good prosthesis again. And then we we'll get something similar than this, as this. We'll try. Mike. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I will tell you about the idea I have on this project. To make it possible to bring uh, lower leg prosthesis to poor rural areas, uh, the process of making such a thing should be really simple, really fast, there shouldn't, shouldn't be any uh, heavy machinery involved, and of course it should be cheap. So, um, together with some people in the Netherlands, we, we've created a solution for the problems Choki uh, has with his mobile workshop. Uh, and now we, uh, we are here in Harapanjaya, in Sumatra, to test it and to develop it together with Pontas and Choki. Uh, and we're, qu yeah, we're quite close to it. It's getting better and better every time we, we try something. Harapanjaya adalah sentrum untuk orang-orang cacat, terutama orang cacat uh, fisik. Berdiri sejak 1981, berada di Pematang Siantar. Tepatnya di Jalan Makadam Raya, kilometer 6 Perumnas Pematang Siantar. Pada akhir-akhir ini sangat banyak kita temukan orang yang cacat karena cedera, karena eksiden. Dengan e, pemakaian Honda yang sudah banyak pada saat ini. Sehingga kita menemukan banyak pasien yang membutuhkan kaki palsu di harapan jaya. And now we're, we're testing if the quality is the same and it proves to be quite the same, so it's a good design. So right now we've started the process. Uh, at first we will cover some painful places, some bony, bony areas. It's not nice if the socket is directly on it. So we're covering it now with some busa, with some foam. Uh, wrapping it with plastic so it stays in place. I'm now at Harapan Jaya. And here, Pontas makes really good prosthesis. But people living in, for example, Jambi, uh, they don't have a place like this nearby. So people living there, they have to travel all the way to here to get a good prosthesis. And many people cannot afford that. So what we want to do is create a, a mobile workshop to bring this good product to, uh, to for example, Jambi. So these, these patients can also get a good product, like well, a lower leg prosthesis. Para pasien kami yang datang ke Harapan Jaya seringkali mengalami kendala karena uh, jarak jauh pun karena transport yang terbatas. Pasien kita biasanya yang datang selama ini mulai dari Sumatera Utara, 
termasuk juga Aceh sampai ke e, Pulau Nias dan juga sampai ke Jambi. And this design, my my idea is to make the process of making such a uh, prosthesis suitable for a mobile workshop. Dan selama ini di kaki palsu dibuat selama sekitar 20 hari sehingga mereka mungkin untuk tinggal di sini pun membutuhkan biaya untuk makan dan semuanya sehingga mereka mengalami uh, kekurangan dalam hal biaya. So the the benefits of this new uh, new design is that it's really really simple and extremely fast to make it. Uh, and uh, In fact, it doesn't need any machinery, so it's really suitable for a mobile workshop. And now an extra layer of plastic is added, because the next thing we will do is put the synthetic cast tape around the stump, and that's not really good for your skin. So we, we protect the, the patient now with some plastic, and it will, it will make sure that the, the socket will be really uh, hollow from the inside, so even, not rough. Uh, for the pressure tolerant areas of the of the stump, this is important. Okay. Yeah, bye. And the thing is just a prototype, so it's a little bit leaking, and we're we're making sure it's not leaking so much. <laughs> so for a real product, it should be a little bit better, but this is just a prototype. Yeah, so the pressure should be about in between 0.1 and 0.2. Um, so this is quite good. Now in a few minutes time the, the synthetic uh, cast tape has hardened. So now it's really hard. And now we can take off the plastic and uh, well, cut it. And then the socket is ready. to <coughs> add this cup to the bottom of the, the stump and this we can add all the, the rest of the, the, the leg. So this is the next step. So actually it's two phases and this is the second phase. Nanti slapnya sampai di sini. Nanti abang diputar-putar lagi kan? Iya. Ya diputarnya jangan lewatin dari sini biar bisa kita buka nanti. Yang di tempat sini ya. Sedikit, sedikit kencang. Choki and Pontas are experimenting with a new method of how to create the upper part of the of the socket. Because when you stand on it, it's really okay. But if you step up, it can slide off the stump. The stump. So now they're trying you know, something new to create a really good, uh, good shape around around the stump. Uh, the socket is ready, so now they, they took it off. Uh, and now we will cut in the right shape. And later we can connect the rest of the foot to it, and the prosthesis is done. So it's really fast. Cool. It's really fast. Is it good? I thought so. <laughs> yeah? Okay. About the suspension. We'll see. Yeah. Yang saya alami lebih baik saya kira, yang saya rasakan, karena ini lebih ringan dan lebih ringan kita untuk melangkah. Jadi proses pembuatannya kaki yang baru, yang sekarang ini yang saya pakai, saya lihat jauh lebih cepat dan lebih ringan, kira-kira makan waktu sekitar satu setengah jam dan sampai dua jam lah di dalam proses pembuatan kaki palsu ini metode yang baru ini saya sebagai ortotik prostetik harapan jaya sangat mensyukuri metode ini sebab metode ini sangat menguntungkan saya dalam hal waktu pembuatan yang sangat singkat dan juga peralatan yang 
Tutupan sangat simpel dan sangat memudahkan saya dalam bekerja. Dan keuntungan yang saya alami yaitu kami bisa kunjungan ke tempat-tempat yang lain tanpa membawa beban yang berat. Dan untuk masa depan metode yang baru ini, saya pikir lebih menguntungkan. Together with Pontas and Choki, we now have made 10 prosthesis and every prosthesis we make uh, is getting better and better. So we're really close to a really good quality result, but we still need more time, more research to be sure about the quality and the durability of it. Sangat berterima kasih kepada saudara Bob yang telah membantu kami untuk mengajar tenaga di sini sehingga mereka dari segi waktu juga sudah bisa membuat kaki palsu yang dulunya membutuhkan 20 hari kira-kira 20 hari sekarang bisa dibuat dalam 2 jam saja. So the idea of this product is to bring the prosthesis to the people who need it in the poor rural areas.